Hello everyone, how are we all doing? Today I want to share with you guys my top like seven awesome outfits that I go to when it comes to getting ready in the morning. The outfits that I find to be the easiest, the most comfortable, the ones I feel good in, the ones that are classically Charlotte outfits if you will. Um, so I thought it would be kind of fun to talk you guys through what I usually gravitate towards. You'll see a kind of running theme. I love more of an oversized fit which you probably be know at this point um and a lot of these pieces you would have seen in previous videos as well i'm trying to get the most out of my wardrobe this year stop buying too much and buy things that i know i'm going to wear a lot and hopefully you'll find this useful um so i'm going to show you guys the outfits in the mirror and i will talk you through every element Okay, outfit number one is probably one of my current favourites. I love this pretty lavish jumper. It's like an oversized cream knit. Um, I got it in a size medium. I was aiming to get a small, but they didn't have a small when I went to buy it. Um, but I absolutely love the fit of it. I think it's gorgeous. I'm just obsessed. Um, they also do this in like four other colours. So if cream is not for you, they do a brown one, a black one, I think another, maybe a grey one. Um, such a lovely jumper. Really thick, nice, comfortable Perfect for autumn, take you into winter. Absolutely love it. And then I've teamed it with these um, black jeans. These are an old Topshop pair, but they're very similar to the top, um, weekday row jeans, which I always wear as well. Um, and I just love the kind of baggy fit of them. I love a straight leg jean. I think a straight leg jean is a very like trend piece, but I don't think you necessarily need to own a pair of straight leg jeans if they're not for you. But for me, I think cream and black is always a good combo. You can't really go wrong. Um, and if you've got a good pair of black jeans in your wardrobe, then you're sorted. Cream jumper and a black pair of jeans. Chef's kiss in my eyes. And then I've teamed it with um, these Birkenstocks. Birkenstocks are very big, very popular at the moment. I just kind of wanted something that was a little bit more comfortable. You could wear a pair of trainers if you're not a Birkenstocks fan or if you don't have a pair. Um, I would probably usually wear trainers or even boots. You could do a boot with this um i think the basis of the outfit is a cream jumper and jeans and that is what i kind of like the most then you can change the accessories and shoes around to suit whatever you like or whatever you're going for that day um so yeah i really like this and then the bag is from uniqlo i'll link all of these pieces below by the way and sizing so you can go shop them but yeah this is the kind of autumn fit that i would go for if it was colder I pop a coat on let me show you i would pop on this puffer coat um puffer coats are great for this time of year because they do keep you really really warm and you don't need to spend a ton to get a good one this one is a north face um jacket you've probably seen it a lot of people had it last year i absolutely love it it's the perfect tones for this outfit i think if you're gonna buy a puffer jacket make sure it goes with all of your like wardrobe rather than just a few things um i do have quite a few puffer jackets but i love this kind of creamy light toned color i think it's really nice obviously it's got a little bit of green which matches the the birkenstocks but like i said i probably would wear trainers as well especially if it's raining i ain't going to be wearing these birkenstocks but i love like how a puffer coat looks with something that's already quite loose and like baggy i love the style of this they have got a few on a few websites that are very similar to this a lot cheaper so i will link those below i'll also try and link this one as well because they do have it this year as well but i just love the like teddy version of this coat um but i think anything that suits the kind of length of the jumper or you could go for a longer coat but for me this is more of my kind of vibe so this is the coat that i would wear maybe wear a hat if it's really cold um but yeah this next outfit you have probably seen many a time before if you follow me on instagram it's probably one of my go-to one of my favorite go-to's i often switch out the bottom half but keep the rest of it the same um so this is a really lovely jumper from arquette you would have seen this in my arquette hauls if you've been watching those um i love this jumper it's probably one of my favorite purchases this autumn so far i highly recommend it it's a tad itchy but if you're wearing something underneath you're not going to feel the itch um i absolutely love it so comfortable so warm you can wear it now and again layer it up for the winter time um and i've teamed it with this trench coat which is an old one from mango i will link something similar um i just love the style of it to be honest it's just a really good like easy throw on trench and i found that recently where it's a little bit colder but not freezing it's become like a really good piece to have in my wardrobe um and then i've teamed it with these dickies trousers they're like a cropped length 
trouser um really comfortable highly recommend they're really good quality i've washed them quite a few times and they still look quite fresh and new apart from the fact the seam's gone from the middle i just need to iron them in place um but they're so nice and they do them in a range of different colors so if you're not really a black kind of gal you can go for something more neutral toned lighter toned um and then i've teamed these new balance these are the new balance 2000 r's i don't know if they still sell this color but um i will try and link them below for you guys because they're such a lovely pair of trainers and um a really nice colorway as well i've matched them to the jumper i love a good matchy matchy look um with an outfit in the autumn time um and then i've added this crossbody bag just to add the I don't know, it just kind of ties the outfit in and I love like a crossbody bag that's quite close to you. It's great if you live in London or any city really, um, keep all your valuables close to you. But it also means that you've got your hands free so you can hold bags if you're shopping or eating or whatever. Um, so yeah, I really like this look. I would probably switch out the trench for like a longer coat if it was colder. But one thing I will add is a lovely little scarf. I love a good scarf. I think a scarf is a great way to warm up an outfit. And this one's from Mango, just a simple grey one. Really soft um, and looks really chic. So that is what I would add if it was a little bit chillier um, to warm the outfit up. This next one is one you may have also seen over on my Instagram. Um, I wanted to share it because I absolutely love these jeans. I've been living in these jeans recently. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you will know this. Or TikTok, actually, I've been sharing my daily outfits on TikTok. Um, so head over there. I will link both my accounts below. They always are linked below, but it's I am Charlotte Olivia. If you're interested, I share a lot more daily outfits over there, so you'll be able to get more inspiration if you are interested in more outfit inspo. Um, but this outfit is one of those ones that I always kind of go to if I'm looking for something easy, comfortable, yet still cool. I would say this is more of a streetwear fit. Um, and I've started it off with the jacket on because I think the jacket does add something kind of cool, makes it a little bit more awesome winter, adds that like cooler element to it with the puffer. The puffer's from Weekday, really lovely puffer actually, um, I think they still sell it, really comfortable, I actually have this in two colours. Um, it's a really nice, good quality puffer, I think it's around £50, which I don't think is too bad, um, like I said, I have two colours, and I think that it's a really good quality jacket, I love the kind of cropped length of it, um, you can cinch it in at the bottom so you can have it tighter to you, loose to you, whatever you want, um, and it is really, really warm, so I'd highly recommend, um, but I've just layered it over the top of the outfit, just to show you what the full fit would look like, and then I've also teamed it with, um, this North Face tote bag, which is such a lovely tote bag. I'm a sucker for a tote bag. And this is like one of those tote bags that's like, you want to keep nice. You don't use it for your food shopping. You use it just for like nice outfits. So I wanted to show that too because I absolutely love it. Um, but yeah, the outfit itself, let me take off my jacket and I'll show you. Okay, so for the outfit, I am wearing this oversized sweatshirt. This is from Live Fast Die Young on Instagram. I will link them below. Um, it's a really lovely jumper. I think it's in a size medium. I love a good sweatshirt. I think a sweatshirt is always a good go-to piece. Um, and you can layer underneath, especially in the autumn winter time. Um, and I love the colour of this. Like, it's such a beautiful colour. And I think it looks really nice teamed with these blue jeans, which are from Levi's. As I mentioned, I've been wearing them a lot. Um, these are Levi's 501 90s jeans. And they are just the perfect amount of baggy in my eyes i wouldn't say they were like particularly like you know sexy looking jeans or anything like that but they are unbelievably comfortable and i think they just look really really cool um so yeah i really like them styled like this the light like, t-shirt underneath just hanging out just gives that kind of cool relaxed chill element to the outfit which i love and then i've teamed it with these reebok trainers um which i absolutely love they have a little bit of green on them so it ties the green together you know keeps it cool casual yeah love this it. outfit is like the ultimate cozy cool girl vibe i think um with the oversized jumper the leather trousers the uggs um so the jumper is from arquette it's the same as the gray one that i was wearing earlier um i absolutely love this jumper i just love the fit of it 
it's a really like perfect oversized knit with a lovely neckline and I'm just so here for that. So I love the way this looks and I love the colour as well. Obviously we'll link it below and the sizing and everything. And then I've teamed it with these um, leather trousers. These are an old Zara pair. I think I've had them for like a year or two, I'm not sure. Um, just a really good pair of leather trousers, kind of more of a straight leg, which I, again, I personally like. I much prefer a straight leg to any other style of trouser when it comes to um, leather trousers. Um, and then I've teamed it with these little ultra mini Uggs. I kind of wanted to keep it matchy-matchy. I do love a matchy-matchy look. And I love to make sure that one element is matching the shoes or whatever. Because I just, I think it ties everything together a little bit more. And I just really like the way this whole outfit looks. And then I've added my Celine um, Ava bag. Which I have had for a while. I got it in Paris. I can't put it back on my shoulder. There we go. <laughs> um, but yeah, I love this outfit. I think it's just an easy, cool girl, comfortable yet warm outfit. And I'd probably chuck on like a long coat um, if it was cold. But since leather trousers keep you very warm, I don't think you need a coat right now because it's not freezing. But yeah, I do love this look and it makes me want to wear these Uggs so much more. Now, it wouldn't be an awesome outfits video without some sort of blazer look. Um, and I got this blazer recently from Cos. It's stunning. It's a really gorgeous, like, almost textures, almost like, um, what would you call it? It looks woven, but it's not. It's like check. It's like a really light, very, very light check-ish texture. Um, and I absolutely love it. And it's got these really cool, like tucked pin tucked sleeves which i just think make it look so nice and so different but yet still very wearable which i absolutely love i've just layered it over a long sleeve white baggy tee for like a very comfortable casual smart casual kind of fit with the black jeans that i was wearing earlier um i love a black jeans look so it would be silly of me not to include two um and i love keeping everything neutral again like i said i like to match like the colors of one item to something else so i've done the same here with um these new balance um five seven forties these are probably one of my favorite pairs of new balance and i don't think many people really wear them which I find mad because they're so comfortable um, and I'll try and link a similar colour because I don't know if I can find these ones anymore. But they're just a neutral pair of trainers. They're kind of chunky, yet still comfortable. They go with everything. They look cool. Um, so yeah, absolutely love this outfit. And then I've teamed it with this little styled white creamy bag just to add that kind of creamy touch to the look. If it was cold, Hang on, I would style it with this scarf. This is a scarf I actually got in Amsterdam. I mean, you can get these scarves everywhere these days. But I got it in Amsterdam, it's quite bobbly. It looks a bit gross. But you know when you're like, oh, I don't wanna get rid of it because it was such a nice, it reminds me of when I used to live there. So yeah, but I probably would wear like a long coat as well over top in the winter time but since it's not that cold i think i would just stick to a scarf if it was a little bit chilly or maybe layer up a little bit more underneath um so you could still see the blazer but yeah i think this outfit's really really cute okay this next outfit is definitely one of those ones for a warmer autumn day slash you choose a jacket to go over top that suits that you might have i do have a quote to show you to wear with this outfit but we're sticking with the base of the outfit for now um so i've got this gorgeous top on from arquette you would have seen this before again if you've watched my arquette haul really comfortable lovely thin but like soft top i just think it's beautiful great for layering but also you could wear it on its own like i am um you could wear it on a night out i feel like it's just one of those good classic you could dress up or down kind of tops and i've started with these gray trousers which i love I love the colour of these trousers. They fit really nicely. Um, these are from Naked Fashion. Obviously, I will link everything below. And I love the look of these. Uh, they're a little bit long on me, but I think, you know, we can make it work, can't we? Um, and they're really thick, which I think is so nice, especially good for autumn winter. Um, and then I've got the same grey scarf on that I had before. Um, really love this scarf. Um, Mango do this in a few different colours, so if you're looking for a nice, good quality scarf, I highly recommend. Um, it's not the same grey tones, but I think the grey tone, grey tones work quite well together. And then I've got the same trainers on as the last outfit, um, the New Balance 5740s. Really lovely, good pair of trainers and the styled bag, just to keep it quite neutral, but cohesive you can tell there's a theme for me and my outfits and what i like to mix and match <laughs> let me pop on the coat now i don't know if teddy coats are like the trendiest thing ever 
but I love a good teddy coat and I think they're great for winter and I think they're great for keeping you warm. And this one is from Monkey. I've had it a few years, maybe a year or so. Um, I will try and link it below. If not, I'll find something similar because they always do teddy coats. Um, everywhere does a teddy coat. But I think a teddy coat just you can't go wrong with. And it keeps you nice and warm and toasty, yet still adds that element. Like this coat is the perfect coat for this outfit because it gives that creamy tone that you've got within the top but keeps the grey still there you can still see the grey obviously you could wear the scarf as well but I think I would sweat if I put the scarf on as well right now so I've opted to leave the scarf but obviously depending on the weather depending on what um, you're going for you can either do the scarf and the coat you could do the scarf with a blazer and these trousers, do you know what I mean? You could just like switch it up to whatever you want. But I think the base of the outfit is what the outfit is. And then you can add to it if and when and whatever you want to. So this last outfit is very much sticking to my colour palette, apparently. Um, apparently I'm loving grey and creams this season. I think it's always good to make sure that when you're building your winter, autumn, winter wardrobe, everything goes together, right? So I can mix and match all these pieces with the other outfits and still create different outfits without having loads and loads of items that just don't really suit my style. Everything I've got kind of works quite well together. So even though these items haven't necessarily been used yet, the accessories have, and I could wear these with the other items that I've shown you before. Um, so this outfit is a grey and cream look, opposite directions, also means that coat that I just showed you could go with this outfit. Um, I probably wouldn't wear it, but it would match in terms of colour. Um, I'd probably wear a puffer coat with this look. But anywho, the jumper is from Uniqlo. I love Uniqlo knits, I think they're so good. I will of course link this below. Um, I share this in my Uniqlo haul, if you've not seen that. Highly recommend going and checking it out because I found some really good bits and I've got some more bits coming. So Uniqlo is my favourite place at the moment. Um, but I love this. I love the length of it. It's a perfect length. I got this in a size small. Um, they do it in a few different colours, which is great. If you're not really a grey fan, you can get a different colour. Um, and I just love the fit of it. It's so soft. It's not itchy. It's a really affordable price and I just absolutely love it. And I love it teamed with these um, cargo trousers from weekday. You can actually like cinch them at the bottom so they kind of balloon a little bit. But I quite like them wide leg. I think it suits my style a little bit more. I probably would do the little ties up. Can you see the little ties dragging on the floor? If I was um, going out because they would drag on the floor and they'd be dirty AF and we just don't need that. So I quite like the wide leg fit. I think it gives that more classic look. Um, as a trouser versus a cargo which I think is quite nice if you're someone who likes a cargo trend but doesn't really want to go too heavy into the cargos I think these are really nice they do have like a little tie waist at the top um, so you know you can just cover it up if that's not really your vibe but I think they look like cargos without being like that balloon parachute pant cargo kind of vibe which I love um, and then I've teamed the outfit with my New Balance 2000 R's because they're grey and as you know I like to mix and match and make everything look cohesive. Then my Uniqlo bag just because I feel like I feel like black would be too much but um, white would be too light so I think this is a really nice good alternative and I highly recommend this bag as well. Again they do this in loads of different colours and I just love it. Um, it's currently empty but you know when I'm going out I will put something in it but yeah that is the final fit. I really like this look and um, it's so comfortable. And I think most of my outfits, well, if not all of them, have been on the comfort front. And that's what we want. That's what we want for autumn. Comfort, yet chic. And this is definitely Those are all the outfits that I have to share with you today. Let me know if you like this style of video. I wanted to make it a little bit more casual, chilled, a little bit more like, this is my outfit, this is what I'm wearing kind of vibe. Versus too staged and like sat down. I wanted to make it more chill. So let me know if you like this. Um, and I can do more videos like this. All the items for every outfit will be linked below. If anything's old, I'll link something new um, or similar to that item. And I will also put the sizings of everything that I'm wearing as well. So you can check that out. If you have any questions, pop it in the comments. Again, do let me know if you liked this video and this style of video. Um, and I will see you all in my next video.